I know it's a bank holiday weekend. I know that it's a, it's a four-day weekend for a lot of people. So actually, people travelling down is to be expected. But what an early atmosphere in here, Matt Mackling. Those fans and fans really, really making themselves heard. And it just sort of rolls out the red carpet for him to get this done, Callum Simpson, and get back up to Barnsley and set up a homecoming. Yeah, he's had a really exciting stage in his career. You know, he's on a roll, building good momentum. He's due, a, you know, a title shot for the British title, but he's got a he's on a big card here, but can't afford any slip-ups. He's got to stay switched on, be sharp, and get the job done. Yeah, he's already found a home for the long straight right hand, but as expected, Dula and Barbe, he launches into everything. Just got to be careful. Callum Simpson, keep that chin down. Those of you that follow domestic boxing, you will have seen Dula and Barbe before, but not as you know him tonight. Boxing under his alias of Abdallah Paziwapazi. He was knocked out by Rocky Fielding in a couple of rounds, but he was a real live challenger in that fight and he fought exactly like this Rocky Fielding put him away with a brilliant combination but it was bells and whistles and everything this is uh, some start from Mbappe and, and Callum Simpson he's fired up and if he hadn't done his research and he's found out pretty quickly that Mbappe is here to uh, to try and wreck that's actually quite nice clipping left hand from Simpson yeah he's a uh... Wants to start sharp, but wants to put a barbie in his place, but doesn't want to get too reckless either. He's got to can't neglect his own defenses and has to be aware of what the shots that are coming back at him. So yeah, good start from Simpson. He's establishing his jab. He's nice uppercut there as well from him. Yeah, he certainly settled after those first sort of 30 seconds where both fighters were going hell for leather. Just got behind a nice basic one two there, Simpson, and found a home for the right hand. Both fighters in black, Simpson in the black and gold, and Barbe in the black and white. We mentioned in the intros, he switches, and throws punches from unorthodox angles. Simpson just finds him at the end of the right hand there, but his distance right there, Simpson. And my eyes have just caught sight of the champion on the horizon, Zach Chelly, watching on. Both look to land body shots. I think it was Simpsons that was a better shot. And then he just goes through the gears with a nice eye-catching combination. And Barbe, he rides some of those punches. He's got a nice high guard. The crowd are up, but I don't think any of those particularly landed. Just smothering his work a little bit here, Simpson. Just landing some good shots and then falling in on top of himself and smothering his own work. Just needs to get a bit of room. Good first round from Callum Simpson. Style territory up in Barnsley. Just knowing the, the character makeup of, of Zach Chelly, I would have thought he'll absolutely be delighted to go up there in a hostile crowd. Back to this one. You couldn't really blink with this because both fighters put in a lot behind those early exchanges, particularly Simpson, who threw a couple of meaty right hands towards the end. But Barbe, at the moment, he's boxing out the orthodox stance. He immediately switches to, to Southpaw in the blink of an eye. You have to have your smarts about yourself because you don't quite know what he's going to do. Yeah, Simpson in the first round when he was throwing the one-two and then like a screw shot left uppercut. His right hand was coming a bit low and was kind of open for the left hook counters. And at the start of this round, Mbappe's throwing a few good left hooks, so he needs to tie it up defensively, Simpson. Watch out for that. That's good. Nice jab from Simpson. Yeah, just clips Mbappe, who was just trying to creep into range himself he's got long levers Callum Simpson he do well to use them but then when he does close the distance like that it's eye catching work from the Barnsley super middleweight it's a really good left hook to the body snuck in there from Simpson this is good work good right hand followed by a left hook by Simpson you certainly settled a little bit more, you feel, in this second round. I think he's using his jab more in the second round here, Simpson. Those right hooks to the body, right hooks to the head combination. Working well for him. 
Yeah, you would feel we're only in the second round, but those sort of body shots will pay dividends for Simpson. There was a good right hand in there as well, which he didn't throw straight. It wasn't quite a screw shot. It was like a long uppercut almost. And Barbado taking these shots well for the moment. He's only 30, Dullet and Barbe, but this is fight number 50. There's something to be said for activity as a pro. He's boxed all over, and fair play to him to get to 50 already. With a good record as well. 34 of those have been wins. 29 of those 34 wins inside the distance, as we said. He, he can punch a bit. You can see it. he does look heavy-handed. Do you feel that maybe Simpson has just got his range here, Matt? Yeah, it looks like it. I think he's, he's just got to use the jab a bit more, though, I think, Simpson. Just set the attacks up. Don't look for the lead off with the big shots. Get the jab there first, punch your combinations, and then finish the combination on the heavy shot. Good body shot. Yeah, not for the first time. The body shot was a good one from Simpson. Good end to the round for the Barnsley prospect. Good eye-catching work. From Simpson. Welcome back. That was a really impressive round from Callum Simpson, who settled down to his work quite nicely. Matt. Yeah, landed a nice array of shots. Um, using his jab more, more of the same now in this round. Just a little bit of confusion in the Tanzanian corner. The gun shield couldn't be located. Now it is. We're ready to go. The jab to start the round from Callum Simpson. He's really made a name for himself, Callum Simpson, up and down the country and really around the world in terms of the sparring pedigree. He's been asked back so many times by Arthur Better Beers camp. We can almost say that he is part of the wider team. But he sparred everyone, and I know Dan Aziz is a, a huge fan. It's good education because these are this is where you do your learning, but also behind closed doors. That's great education, definitely. And, and it's it, it's a good yardstick for himself personally. He'll gain a lot of confidence and see where he's at. How he's you know, coping in those sparring sessions. Is he giving as good as he's getting? Is he a little bit under the cost? Comes back the next day, has a go. In a, you know, great, massive for his experience. These are good shots from him. That was absolute quality from Callum Simpson. Just. Uh, working with the right hand he just tapped with the first right hand and then changed the angle came back with a, another right hand impressive stuff so far from simpson this is what he wanted to do good right hand just knocks him by way off balance yeah, i think it was partially blocked but certainly the power carried through the guard yeah and because he's a little bit ungainly barbe isn't quite obvious if he's hurt or not because he does sway in the wind a little bit but undoubtedly these are good shots from Simpson the confidence is absolutely flowing yeah, I think Simpson's definitely heavy handed because sometimes you know the shots look like they're arm punches but you see they have effect that is not where Mbabe wants to be trapped in that red corner he was throwing back but under a barrage of punches a flurry of punches from Callum Simpson He's doing a real job here at the moment. Impressive stuff. And most of it is coming off a good, basic, fundamental jab, which is nice to see. Switches down to the body and then back up. Oh, really good work there. You know, double left uppercut up the jab and then switched back through the right hook. Good shot. I'm by no means a purist, Matt. I think you know that by now, but it is all being set up by a good jab for all the other razzmatazz and impressive work everything's coming off a, a really good straight jab definitely and the, the, the uppercuts are working really well from that right uppercuts but also the left uppercuts are working a treat yeah Mbabe actually can't get out the way at the moment we spoke about he couldn't get a read on Mbabe's punches at the very start of the first round they were coming from different angles but Simpson now boxing out southpaw He's got Mbabe in a storm. He doesn't know where they're coming from. Doesn't know if they're going to the head or to the body. And Simpson just continues to pour it on. Brilliant round from Callum Simpson. Impressive stuff. 
Let's just keep an eye on this blue corner as well. I just there was a shake of the head there from Mbappe. I just wonder. I just wonder if there's a discussion going on there. Well, he's certainly giving out distress signals. Yeah, I mean, it was a real confident finish there to the round from Simpson. I think he may start this round quick. Yeah, they won't have heard that combination, but Mark Hurley and the team in that red corner will know that that was a torrid three minutes from Gula and Barbe. And if Simpson can start how he finished, perhaps he can get his man out of there. He desperately wanted to get a stoppage as well after back to back points wins. At the end of the day, he's a young fighter, and they want to knock people out. Yeah, the benefit of the rounds, it's all experience, and you can't buy it. But he wants to he wants to get the headlines. Yeah, but Mbappe's come out here aggressive himself here. He's really letting his hands go. Trying to take the fight to Simpson, trying to back Simpson up. Yeah, all credit to him. If this is one last hurrah, it certainly started well enough in the first 40 seconds of round number four. Yeah, and it's up to Simpson to take the sting out of him, tame him. That was good defence from Simpson on that occasion. Nice high right glove. Yeah, good lead right hand there from Simpson. Yeah, I think there's something in that massive right hand. Drops it Barbe. Set it up with a brilliant left hook to the body. Followed it up with a crisp right hand to the head. He shakes his head. This one's going to be over. Callum Simpson back with a bang. And sets up a British title come fight on. with Zach Kelly in yeah. a fucking come on. Fucking come on. Yeah, look really good there. Put his shots together well. And Babby came out at the start of that round trying to fight his way back into the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Bates calls a stop to this contest at one minute, ten seconds of round number four, declaring your winner by knockout. Cut!